you want better sleep, more relaxation, more ability to kind of tune down and chill out at the end of the day, that's a great time to have carbohydrates. If you don't want that at 10 a.m., probably a good time to eliminate carbohydrates. So just making those choices strategically, now it's like, now it's like, how do I develop focus? How do I crush it? What is skinny fat? I hear this term thrown out there. Like, what does that even mean? You said like, I was skinny fat. What does that mean from a fitness perspective? So I don't know if there's like a globally accepted definition, but yeah. in my case, what it meant was small arms, big belly, you know, like mm -hmm. belly sticking out, not like, so I like, you know, I look good in a shirt, look fine. No one would have ever called me fat. But I like mm -hmm. every time I would go to the, like the, the pool or take my shirt off, I was like, feel that good. You know, so sure. it was just kind of like it was no definition, small arms and then kind of like a, a love handles and a belly for in my case. Got it. Got it. Thanks for clarifying it because I hear that thrown out there. But help me understand what are some of the other like little, you know, what do you think are some of the biggest myths or misconceptions besides the six meals a day that people are kind of currently trying to operate on uh, from your perspective? And, and maybe, you, you know. Uh, you can talk about low carb. Um, it sounds like you do eat carbs, but you just eat them strategically. So yeah. you know, what are some of the other big things that you kind of harp, harp on and, and think are like the big keys to having that all day energy and ultimately leading to that physique and, um, you know, look that you want to have as well? So I feel like uh, like there's a there's a saying that people have that says eat, eat breakfast like a king, lunch like a prince and dinner like a pauper. Have you heard this? No. It's just, it's just another idea so. around eating, yeah. but basically it's like eat a big breakfast and then, you know, eat mm -hmm. a small dinner. And I, I like to flip flop that. And so I like to, to, to think about energy in the way of like, if you want to get more done, eat less. So you'll actually have more energy and more mental acuity, more mm -hmm. cognition when you're fasting than when you're, when you've just eaten a big meal. Think about this. It's like, think about like Thanksgiving day, just finished dinner. Detroit lions are sucking at football, mm -hmm. right? I guess Detroit fans. <laughs> and, uh, and you sit down on the couch and someone's like, Andrew, you want to go play pickup basketball? What are you going to say? Probably not. <laughs> Sorry. Let's just yeah. watch the game. Yeah. Um, button my pants and chill out. Right. <laughs> yeah. Like if you go, th if you think back to like evolutionarily, like w the time we were most likely to go hunt a woolly mammoth was not right after a big feast. It was not after we ate. Mm -hmm. And the reason for that is when we are a little bit hungry, what's cool about it, we can reframe those slight hunger signals as energy bumps, as like being more in tune, because when you're a little hungrier, what's like if your brain does crazy stuff, you start getting more neural synapses connecting, you start getting better hand eye coordination, you start getting better short term to long term memory, like cognition. So like you just kind of elevate your state, you get just a little bit better because to, in order to hunt and to stay alive, we needed to have that, that be like that, uh, that focus, the ability to dial in. So mm -hmm. I think that eating light during the day, you know, allows you to show up big on a podcast. It allows you to like go to your meetings and, and like be very productive. It allows you to get on sales calls. It allows you to do all the things that we're doing on a daily basis. And then when we have that bigger meal at night, you know, whether that's like rice or potatoes or burritos or whatever it is, number one, we're not stressing about it because we ate light all day. So we have a little bit of a buffer there. It's almost like nutritional insurance. And then number two, you like when you now spike those carbohydrates, we have, you've had the Chipotle burrito syndrome before you eat Chipotle at lunch and then you go home and you're like, I could go for a nap right now. Mm -hmm. I could go under the desk. That's not, no one's going to know. So we want to harness that, that actual, that sensation because eating carbohydrates will take us from what's called a sympathetic nervous system dominance. That's like people call it fight or flight. I think shake and bake is probably more appropriate. Shake and bake. Mm -hmm. And then we want to like, the carbohydrates will shift us to parasympathetic nervous system dominance. That's rest and digest. So like a number one is like number one, a use, use these, the foods as tools. And I don't want to like, I think a lot of people are like food is fuel and like, yeah, but food is also like culture and love and mm. you know, how we like spend time together, but use these things tactically in a way to get more of what you want. Right. So if you want better sleep, more relaxation, more ability to just kind of tune down and chill out at the end of the day, that's a great time to have carbohydrates. If you don't want that at 10 a.m., probably a good time to eliminate carbohydrates. So just making those choices strategically. Now it's like, now it's like, how do I develop focus? How do I crush it in my job? Now we're not making as many emotional decisions in the moment of like, you know what? I could eat a donut though. Cause you're like, yeah, I could, I could, it's not off limits, but why don't I just have that for dinner as my carbohydrate and then kill it at this meeting in 20 minutes. You know, hmm. Michael Jordan before a basketball game, a lot of guys would eat carbs. He would eat a big steak a couple, like an hour or two before, because he felt like carbs would weigh him down. So it wasn't like he was off limits. It was just like, how does he optimize his performance on the court? 
that he would go with like a higher protein, higher fat meal for that sustained longer term energy.